<laughs> okay. We're back. The technology wanted to be not smart. So. It's funny. You have a tiny little old mod beginning era of steam train. Pooling a modern train car with a semi-mod train car. And then two pat nor passenger cars of its era. It's just real funny to me. Why are you back so fast? Oh, because it's an eight-minute journey. Wait a sec, that train came back two times, so that's 16 minutes is the last clip. Which means it's a 16-minute video. That's good enough. This train's gonna go two more times. So now, I should be able to afford- Uh. I'm sorry. If I'm about to switch the mon the, the that for the car, then why can't I do it? Okay, well that brings me into something else this game has to offer. Rail yard expansions. So you can get different train car errors, you can get different storage errors, and all that good stuff. So right now we need to do this. Upgrade the amount of storage I can take. So I need more uranium, rubber, and carbon fiber. What is this? Oh, Australia. Okay. So I need to get a public train. Uh, preferably one of my bigger locomotives, please. Mm-hmm. Any second. Okay. And I need... Rubber. Max that out. Go to depot. We need... I have a, another one. I can take 12. Mm -hmm. We need carbon fiber. These trains have to go real, be real light and go real fast. Send that to station. That's why I meant to send this one, but instead I sent it to the depot. And then, because this one already has an, a uranium car, part of its set, that gives like a bonus XP or something like that, right? Yeah. We'll take, we'll put the rest as non name brand uranium cars or something like that. I don't know. Mm hmm. Now go to the station. And now everyone goes on a one week journey for two days. Because the <laughs> that is stretching on the talk. Wait, I sent my timer train on a one week journey, didn't I? No, wait, what trains did I just send on a one week journey? Sent that one, that one, that one. Did I just make four trains and I don't know what's on one of them? That's I got the uranium. I got... I'm so... Wait. I sent this train on a one hour... A one week journey. And this is the train that's been going... For like... 30 minutes or something. <laughs> that's not very good. You see, this is what I was talking about. You used to be able to do this with every train. And now for some reason you can only do this with trains going to Jonathan Bull and whatnot. And then you have this. This this weird spacer place that exists every here and there. What's that? That's that's the news. That's what's happening in the latest update and whatnot. So Right. So now Jonathan Bull should be happy, right? 
No, he still needs new two train cars. So, wait. What happened to the little tiny engine? You. You should be... Either at Matumba's. Yeah, I knew you should be happy. And now he wants to see if I'm doing a good job using the train car. Or he just wants to make get that much brick back. Stinky, you shouldn't have given me a train car to haul brick if you needed the brick. You should have said, hey, um, can you get me brick? Not, he's a backwards man, that man. Very backwards man. Okay. So now, he needs cargo. And who else needed cargo? Because I can just send a nice big cargo train or two. So... He needs cargo. Mm, George Washington needs cargo. And that's it, okay. So... John Hancock and George Washington... Need... I think, what was it, a box of nails? I don't know, let's send... I don't know. Let's send... 168 nails, and then let's send... Mm, I don't know. 200 bricks. Well, 250. Alright, so now we send it to John Hancock and George Washington needed cargo. Uh, and then we send it to them. And... I think Washington will be more than happy with the amount of nails I bring him, right? No, I'll be 100 short. And, but, um... That would take me a step closer to the building he's giving me. Beautiful. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Double take. This guy wants me to send him $13,000. In return, he'll give me sixty. So that means he's really giving me 30000 No. My bad. Uh, six. He's giving me like less than fifty thousand, like somewhere between four, forty, four thousand five, forty-five thousand, and fifty thousand. What he's giving me because a little bit of extra. That's interesting. And then that's really it, Richard. In other words, the conductor from the Polar Express. And then we got Mrs. Duke Kaboom. Wait, no, not Duke Kaboom. Um, that one stunt guy who existed in the 80s, 90s. And we got a lot of business. We got a spaceman. We got someone who thinks he's George Washington. It's like, I like to think of it as you're going through time with this. But... At the same time, time skips around. If you... Also, she's the first lady I did a job with. Let's let's go ahead and look at her station, eh? Yep. So what happens is when you first um when you get when you finish their jobs, they give you their station. So now there's nothing to do. I mean, she's got fifty-two thousand, and I don't know. A little bit of bits and bobs, but I can't do anything with it unless I just realized. What if this is a big if? I'm gonna prep it. I send the train over. What cargo does she have again? She has money, bricks, nails, and wood. More accurately, bricks and nails because she has three pieces of wood. What if I send the train to that location? Uh, how much? <coughs> she has like uh, a thousand wood, 
uh, roughly a thousand now. So I need to send the train to haul roughly a thousand of each out of there. So a thousand bricks and a thousand nails. My bad. So if I max that out. Oh wait, no, that's international there. That can pull a thousand right there. So that's good. Now bricks, if I send this that's too much. Then it actually doesn't matter if I send too many. Cause I can't um put a passenger car to um yeah, sending but I can't have a passenger car to get the money at the same time as um cargo cars. So but if I send that car here, will it pick up all these materials? And then I have them in my base? Because if so, then I can just use this as a big um secondary storage of materials. I mean, it's not like you fill up on materials, but, I mean, if I wanted, I could. Anyway, so like I was saying, though, funny, making a funny, um, there's sort of a timeline here, because you got John Hancock at the creation of the U.S., you got George Washington as well, and then you skip some errors, you got Billy Bob here of oil and whatnot, and then you also got Matamba somewhere near him. And then you got military captain with like a, the weird steam powered ships of the Cold War. And then you got the space race error with this guy. And then you go back to the Cold War. And then you go modern day with this guy because he's just on Hawaii. He's, he's a rich guy on vacation in Hawaiians or something. Then you got modern businessman. You got 80s movies. You got old school China. Oh, wait, no. This person keeps disappearing and reappearing. This is a special event person. But ignoring that person, they're always in, in close to modern times. Then you got historical China, hopping back to the opposite end. Then you got daredevils, old school train people, close enough. Modern businessmen, just for a while. You got space guy. Then you got someone who thinks they're George Washington or someone close to the same time era as George Washington. A business business. You see... This is either a prince, like, who wears clothing, like, in, um, oh, no, not you. You're, you're a business lady from the Westerns. You, now, this guy here, next to the business lady from the Westerns, he's either a prince, like, in, um, Black Panther, or he's back close to, um, George Washington era, and I guess you could say the same with this chick. But for the most part, unless these, unless one, two, three, there's four. Four like to dress like Washington, George Washington and their friends. And this guy likes to dress like he's a spaceman. Then that's, that's perfect. That means he, um, that means that you, um, do that. Sweet. And thank you for this. You know the thing. And now he wants me to send him the steel car. One or the other. Can I even afford that bottom steel car? Nope. So great. Now I gotta send to this guy. Uh, you can go to the depot. I don't need you to do anything else. You. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. That's. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Slow the- speed up gold train, slow down blue train. Look at the train. Look, look. Ooh, nice train. <laughs> Alright, so... Ooh, that's a set, isn't it? Cause... Pixel Park. Okay. So he wants to see three of these train- Great. I only have one of that train car. 
That was a set. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, right. George Washington's is satisfied. You need bricks and nails, and then you'll give me a caboose. Nice. So now... Oh, great. That's right. I leveled up. Let's see what trains there are. So in the steam locomotives, there is... Nothing new. Oh, no. There's something new. I have to scroll a little. There's a cap forward. There's this locomotive that's two and one. Right? Right. That's it. And in the diesels, we have nothing nice. By nothing nice, I mean nothing I want. So just, 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 I want to see this new train on mine. Disassemble. And can I get a disassemble from this train or is it just... No, I didn't want to send it to the station. Come on. Depot. And then... You know what? While that stays in cooperative for a moment. Where's the new train? You... I can't buy more wagons from that, um, set, can I? Nope. Hmm. That? Wow. That's a lot of... Hey, it's free of tax, too. I don't have to pay tax on the cargo I haul. That's nice. So, I think I will leave it at here, and in the me- actually wait, one more thing I'm gonna do on camera, is one, look at what is this new train car that's running around in here. It says there's something new in here. Oh, it's right, the one that John and then gave me. It's part of a set, apparently. And then you got that, that- uh, what's his name gave me? I can I could have gone and bought that if I wanted. Then this, I will put this right here in front of the giant steam locomotive. It's actually kind of fitting, but I have to ooch the flags over now. I'll go ahead and ooch them to random points on the station. It doesn't thoroughly matter. But yeah, I will leave the video at that. So I'm now. Leaving.